Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm just randomly sitting in my car in the rain because I was just out and about and then I thought it's been a bit since I've gone to the thrift stores and I thought it might be fun to do a little thrift with me video. So I have a few of these here on my channel where I just take you along through the thrift stores. Maybe I'll find some things, maybe I won't. Um, so we'll do the shopping first and then I'll come back and like show you all my goodies, but we'll see what's out there. I haven't been in months and I'm very curious of what's there. So we're just gonna take a peek and hopefully we find a few things but first up I need caffeine uh, again it is raining so sorry if you're hearing some rain on my car but I'm thinking I will go to Starbucks I have enough points to get a free drink so I'm gonna get a free drink and then go thrifting and that just sounds like a great afternoon to me so let's just get going Hello. awesome thank you have a good day. you too all right, so I'm at the first thrift store, which is near my house. It's just like a local family-owned business. And so we'll go in just a minute. It's not open yet. It opens in three minutes. Did get my Starbucks beverage. So if you're curious of what I got, I got a pistachio latte with oat milk. It's right here. I've not had my first sip yet. It's so good. It's not overly sweet and it's not overly like nutty either. It's just like a good mix. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna enjoy my latte and then we'll go in and see what they got. This one's been very hit or miss. Sometimes it's like amazing things and sometimes there's just not a lot there. So hopefully we find something. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right Alright, so stop number one was a bus. They really didn't have too much to offer. And so I didn't get anything, but I am already at stop number two, which is Goodwill. I sometimes get quite a bit. I feel like it's very hit or miss with most thrift stores, but sometimes I'll go away with like eight and sometimes I'll go away with none. So hopefully we find something. Um, after Goodwill, we'll try Savers. I also want to just see what else is around. So I'm hoping to have a few new thrifted puzzles by the end of this video. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight, found what we're looking for in life. all right so we are at stop number three which is value village i've gotten pretty good things here so i'm excited goodwill was a huge hit i think i ended up with seven new things so i'm excited to share them with you but let's see what else they got Alright, so I just went to a few more thrift stores. Definitely made out so well this time. I think I'm going home with like 18 puzzles. So I'll meet you back home and I can show you everything that I got. All right, so it's time for the haul part of this video. To be honest, it's a couple days later. Dave did end up helping me bring these all inside and I'm excited to share all my new goodies with you. I came home with 
quite a haul, uh, way more than I was expecting. I was hoping for maybe like three or four new puzzles, but I came across so many good ones and I'm excited to share them with you. So I'm gonna make a little bit more room on the table and we'll go through all these puzzles. So first up, let's start with the New York Puzzle Company puzzles. They had so many to choose from. In general, I didn't want to get so many 1,000 piece puzzles because they are a bit of a time commitment. So I tried to stick to these smaller piece counts, but I did end up coming home with a few thousand pieces. So first up, we have this one from New York Puzzle Company called Season Special. And I feel like this was such a fun, springy type of puzzle. It is a bunch of, I'll put close up pictures, but it's a bunch of squirrels getting ready for winter, I'm thinking, or they're shopping for their winter nuts. Um, super cute little image. Looks like it might be a little bit on the tricky side, but I think there's enough to work from that it won't be too hard. So I feel like this one's going to be super fun. I just love the image and I got it for $2.99, which isn't a bad deal. Um, next up, we have this one. I love the New Yorker style puzzles and this one is just like bright and colorful. It's called Off the Leash also by New York Puzzle Company, also a 1000 piece. I just think image wise, super cute and relatively easy. There's a lot of stuff to work from and I've liked this version of theirs in the past. And again, $2.99, so definitely a good deal. Oliver, come on. Hi. Can you please get down? And then next up, we have another New York Puzzle Company one. It's from their Harry Potter line, and it's called Diagon Alley, only a 500 piece. And it doesn't seem like the most crisp of lines, but I feel like there's like enough color and variation that it won't be too difficult. And this one is supposed to be based off of the Sorcerer's Stone. So I think this will be a really fun one. A little bit of nostalgia there. And then we also got a new puzzle. They had a lot of puzzles that were brand new in cellophane, which some of you say, is people just sort of like doing it themselves, but I think this is more of a professional job. So I'm pretty excited for this one. It was on the pricier end um, where it was $7.99, but it looked really cool. Um, it's from Christian LaCroix and it's a double-sided puzzle. So this one looked really fun. Um, one side is definitely like the image and the other side is just a fun little pattern, but there's just so much stuff happening, almost like a, I don't know, like a fashion magazine cover. Just like lots of stuff to work with, lots of different patterns. And the colors are somewhat muted, so it might be on the trickier side. I mean, just so you can see the back side of the puzzle, I mean, I guess you could do it that way too. Um, I probably won't because it is very much like just like a back side of the puzzle where it's just like a pattern of these pink flowers. Circles? I don't know what you would call them, um, but I'm very curious about this one and it was brand new and it looked really fun. So I'm excited for that one. I also got this one here, which was a 1000 piece Ravensburger. This one I feel it could go either way. It could be really, really difficult or really easy. Um, just because this one here is like so many bright colors. It's a bunch of these like wine bottles or water bottles. Um, it is called, let's see, Bottle Cap Pills. The thing that I think would make it a little bit tricky though is that the bottles have a light reflecting part on it. So it might make the coloring seem off or make it seem like it's supposed to be in different areas when it's not supposed to be. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what the difficulty level is on this one. It might be pretty simple, you know, because I could go by color. We'll, we'll have to test it out. But I think it was a good find for a 1,000 piece Ravensburger. I spent $3.99 on it, so I'm not too mad about that pricing. Um, we also got this one here in a little sphere. No idea about branding. There's no branding on here whatsoever. I got it for $3.99. It's 432 pieces and it's made in the USA and that's all I have. So I'm going to do a little research on what brand this is, but I just felt like the image was really, really nice. Um, I like that gradient orange sky. It almost reminds me of, like Mount Rainier because it has like this like volcano mountain and this field with flowers and water. Coloring looks super fun. Again, don't know about branding. There's nothing on here, but I thought it was worth the shot. And then on my way out, I did find on top of like the clothing racks, I had this guy here and this was part of their blue special. So I spent $2 on it 
and it's from Antelope, which I've never found an Antelope puzzle before in a thrift store. And so I was really excited about this one. It's one of their first images that they had created called Dog Park. And it's a 1000 piece and it's just like one of those crazy cartoonsy style of images. So there's a ton of stuff to work from. A little chaotic for me, but I feel like it might be a fun one. Uh, there's a ton of hot air balloons in the sky. We have some trees. It's uh, just a lot of dogs and their owners and a lot of mischief happening. So I feel like it'd be really fun to look at at the end. As far as the image goes, it's super cute. And I have like antelope in the path. The only downfall I have for them is that they have a paper backing, but it's never hindered my experience. So I'm excited to try this one. It's one of the ones I do not have from them. Um, but those are all the puzzles I got at the Goodwill. Let's move on to the next bag. All right, on to bag number two. Most of these are from a value village. I went to a couple different ones, so I think this is just a mix. But first up we have is from Seiko. It's this fun little Disney puzzle. It's for the 100th anniversary of Mickey Mouse, and it is a 300 piece. And I don't know the name of it because um, they did cover it with the sticker. So um, I'll have to look it up, but it's super cute. Mickey Mouse, he has his little music conductor outfit on and there's a bunch of different characters with their instruments. So I think this one will be super fun and cute. And of course it's Disney, so I love it. Next up, we have a puzzle that might be vintage. I'm not quite sure based off the packaging. It's from Suns Out. It's a 300 piece called Garden Planting. Super fun, springy image. I love the little bunny and the butterfly and the birds. And again, just screams spring to me, which I think would be fun just to like post on Instagram. And I feel like it'll be a good one. The ones that I've always had for 300 pieces have been in their longer packaging. So I don't know if this is like older or newer, um, just based off the coloring, it feels like it's more vintage, but that might be wrong. Anyways, I'm excited about it and I think it will be super cute when it's finished. Next up, they had a ton of these picture puzzles by Guild. I have never tried theirs before. This one definitely looks vintage. I only got one of them though, just because I don't need a ton of this style of puzzle, but originally it was only 29 cents when it came to being. So I don't know about the year, but it's 304 pieces. There's a lot of colors on the front, lots of different things to work from. And it's only 304 pieces. So I don't think it'll be tricky. I just am interested if it's like interlocking pieces or more of like that paperboard style. So we'll have to try it out. I think it'll be super fun and interesting to try something this old. Um, I've only tried a few different vintage puzzles before and I've liked them. It's definitely a fun, different experience and we'll see how this one is. And then next up, we got a couple spring box. I feel like for this one here, it was definitely like, ooh, that looks challenging, but I feel like would photograph well and it's only 500 pieces. So it's like worth the risk. And I don't think I spent much on it. I think I spent like $2.99. So I'm not mad if it ends up being one that I'm not in love with, um, but I feel like it will just be so pretty at the end. So anyways, it's called Basket of Berries. It's 500 pieces. And it's just like a basket of strawberries, which I think will be beautiful to photograph. Would love to have this one in the summertime. So it's definitely going to be a challenging image, but I think there's like enough green and things to work from. I just wanted to try it. So here we are. And then we have this one from Springbok, which I love bookish puzzles. This one is called Bookshop and it looks really fun. So it has like these very close up books and then you look through the books and there's like more books. It's just like a lot happening, but I feel like it will be really fun. There's definitely enough to work from that I don't think it'll be too hard. And it's only 500 pieces. So I don't think it's going to be very much of a challenge. And then I also got this one from Ravensburger. It's a 300 piece, looks so much fun. This one is called, let's see over here, Rainforest. And it's just that, it's a rainforest with a bunch of different animals and there's a lot of greenery, but I don't think it'd be super hard because it is only 300 pieces and there's enough other elements to work from. And all the different plants seem to have like a different texture or leaves to them. So I don't think it'll be too hard. So this one I think will be super fun and I'm excited to have gotten this one. All right, on to the last pile here. I had gone to a different Goodwill that's a little bit further away from my home and they had a such good 
puzzles to choose from. I ended up getting three of theirs. I could have gotten way more, but I didn't want to be greedy, you know? Also, I know that for time purposes, I couldn't grab all the ones that I wanted. So I ended up with three and they had this huge collection of puzzles there that were all brand new. So I got all three of these puzzles for only $5, which is awesome, like $5 together. And I'm pretty happy with this one. So the first one here is called Le Chien de Paris and it's by Jane Wooster Scott. And it's this, it's very similar to a Charles Wasaki image. Um, it has like that same style, but it's just the, these buildings in Paris. There's like a little cafe with a bunch of dogs in it. There's a lot of stuff happening. I feel like not as detailed as a Charles Wasaki. And this one just piqued my interest because I had never done a Mattel puzzle before. So I'm curious to see what that is like. I also got two Charles Wasaki puzzles. Again, I could have gotten way more, um, but I ended up going with just these ones. This one here is called Old Main Street, and it's again from MB, which I feel like recently a lot of Charles Wasaki's I've done has been Buffalo Games, so I'm interested to see a different brand of theirs. Um, but here is the image, very muted, and I'm not sure if it's because it's an older puzzle or maybe that is the coloring, but it looks very interesting as far as coloring goes. It looks a little trickier, um, but I think it'll be fun. There's a lot of stuff happening. It's a Charles Wasaki image, so very similar. Um, what I do like though is that on the back, it does talk about the image itself and it has Charles Wasaki actually there. So it's a fun little details here that I'm excited to try. Again, only for like $1.50, so I think it'll be super fun. And then this final one looks so good. And this one is called birds of a feather and it's like this marsh with like a little i'm guessing it's a church and we have a some type of building over here um lots of stuff to work with lots of different layers like you have this water then you have this little area you have the buildings the marsh and then the sky so i feel like difficulty wise it's going to be pretty easy coloring again a little bit on the muted side but i think it'll be super fun again a thousand pieces and i'm excited to try it and then finally, the last two I got at a different value village, and I feel like they were really good finds. Um, so the first one here, I think might be my favorite out of this whole haul. It's a 500 piece puzzle twist puzzle. It's from their Something Amiss line, and it's called International Kindness. I thought it was a super sweet puzzle, lots of stuff to work with, lots of different just like sweet little sayings and animals and again only 500 pieces and I've only done one other puzzle twist puzzle and I really enjoyed it so I'm really excited to have found this one. I forget the pricing, it was $3.99 so I think it was definitely worth the, the investment, I think it'll be super fun. and. If you are new to this line, the Something in Miss line, what you see here is just a little bit different than the puzzle that you do. So it's just a fun little variation. And then I also, finally, the last puzzle is a Ravensburger twin pack. So there's two puzzles in here. One is only 100 pieces. The other one is 200 pieces. Just sweet little, I feel, almost feel like nursery style images where we have like this little couple little bears and it's pastel -y. And it doesn't seem super bright, but I'm not also sure if it's just the box itself. I don't know, it just looked really sweet and I thought for the two puzzles, they're just gonna be quick, easy, little simple things, but I thought it'd be super fun. I don't know the names of these puzzles. It looks like it might be, it doesn't actually say, but it is from Carte Blanche and it has Me To You and Taddy Teddy. So I'm guessing that's a style of image that she does, but um, I think this would be super fun. Anyways, I feel like I lucked out on this Thrift With Me video. I came home with way more puzzles than I was expecting. Now I need to figure out where I'm going to be putting them, but I'm excited about these. If you ever want to know what puzzles I'm doing currently, go over on my Instagram. I try to post there at least a couple times a week of the things that I'm doing. So that is probably where you will see these eventually. Um, but hopefully you are doing well and you like this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. And that's it for me. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.